Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and this is another episode of Selva as Taker and yeah we're back on Selva again it has been another week has gone by and we're back on the park again in this episode we get quite a fair bit done we get um, we're basically doing some general just good stuff um, because we're going around the park and adding some toilet blocks some food stalls just making it a bit more realistic in terms of a theme park because when we built each area we kind of built the coast and then moved on and themed the ride and that was pretty much it so we're just going back and um, plopping in like because realistically if you could look at Alton Towers nearly every single themed area has food everywhere has toilet blocks so we're just going around doing some t general maintenance to the park and we're also finishing off the station area for uh, Cayman and um, the, the queue and also the transfer track and um, some custom supporting so a fair bit done don't look like much but um, just over the past week obviously just spent a few hours um, just doing this and yeah I'm quite happy with the results that we got done in this video um, obviously uh, as you all know now it got announced that um, doing the Port Ventura recreation so with me and um, DJ B Coasters uh, have decided that we're going to uh, wrap this up within the next few weeks and um, obviously uh, DJ B Coasters has plans for his project after this and so do so do I so obviously we um, want to just you know wrap it up and um, yeah so obviously we need to make sure the rest of the pack's decent as well so that's why I'm just going through adding um, just things like this as you can see on the screen at the moment I'm just literally adding a little queue for the actual food stand and um, a bit early you saw me put a cow on the roof and uh, you might be wondering why because um, me and uh, DJ B Coasters had this little inside joke a few months ago um, that like I think it was Trips Drill or a park in Germany somewhere had a cow on one of the roofs in it and it just sparked up why don't we get a cow in self as taker and I think I must have put it in the description when giving DJB coasters the park back about 15 times just saying put a cow on a roof put a cow on the roof like for for weeks on end and uh, we've kind of forgot about it so I searched up cow TMT items and the first one that came up was dead cow so we put a little dead cow on the roof and um, put one of the cosmic cow characters next to it and uh, it, was, it was really funny because we had um, uh, DJB Coasters, Yeet Melon and uh, My Curious Mind all in a call at the same time and uh, putting this dead cow on the roof was a very special moment to say the least. Um, at the moment obviously you can see we are doing some custom support um, on the bit over the water and over the path for the interlocking cork screws that turned out quite nice. I did actually have to put in a custom cross tie because um, one of the, uh, when I auto completed a little bit of track because it was a bit janky, um, one of, sometimes it does it where it misses out a cross tie for some odd reason and it looks like it's missing a gap. And so luckily I found these BM Giga um, cross ties that just fit perfectly and now you can't even tell there was ever a gap there. And um, oh god, it's going so fast. Um, Basically, then I was just starting the the actual um, what's it called the transfer track. As you can see, doing like it's going to be a bit of a weird one because we don't have space for uh, one that moves over. So we've got one of the ones where the track switches into place and the the, the car like turns out into the the two maintenance sheds. And um, so it's going to be on a turntable. That one will move over, and then we'll have the in track like a train. How you can just change which way it'll go gonna have one of them so it'll go into maintenance bit one or two just for that added realism and um, it's gonna be in these sheds just so it can be um, themed up like the rest of it and basically I get all this back area looking complete and finished over when DJB coasters in probably next video will start work on the actual where the coaster is and because we want it to be a bit of a, a parking lot coaster we don't want it to be anything good we want it to be kind of like Imagine Sean Sandbrook's at Selvaz Taker and he takes a ride on Cayman and you're wanting to come off and think, yeah, decent ride, um, but uh, it, yeah, a bit of a parking lot coaster. And you want it to be uh, just a bit naff because 
for the added realism, you'd think we'd want uh, like every ride in this park to be the best ride ever. But just for that added realism, we wanted the when the park would have opened, we wanted it to be like a bit tacky theming, a bit um, dodgy ride. Um, so it's going to be a bit rough, a bit um, snappy. Obviously, it's um, Kim and the crocodile, so it's obviously snappy. Um, like a crocodile, a uh, but yeah, obviously, um, doing that. And yes, continuing on with what we was doing earlier, we are actually um, doing the toilet block here. Um, this is the last little bit of footage we get before adding some finishing touches at the station things. We actually do these toilet blocks, um, and obviously he's got the net in there because he wants a bit of lighting from sunlight. But obviously, you don't want anyone. I don't, I don't know why, but toilets like to have protection on the roofs or something I don't know uh, just wanted to make it feel a bit more enclosed as it was a toilet block so I didn't just go with the nice standard wood beams that we've used uh, consistently throughout Selva I wanted to just add a bit of I don't know security um, and it looks quite nice as well um, sticking with the Tanachi clan theme with the uh, nice red and white uh, checkered thing um, and then add in the woman sign and the men sign for each uh, side of the toilets, obviously. And um, now we are just finishing off the station, really, just so it looks nice and complete when you're turning into the station and not like a concrete box. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it. I think the way this area's turned out um, with the uh, the maintenance shed looks actually a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a bit a uh, bit bad because. Um, I don't know really, I just thought it would be not great looking, but I do actually like the way the um, the maintenance shed has turned out because of the two separate um, bays, I think it looks quite full, and um, and yeah, I think it fits what we're going for, like not amazing theming, but basic enough, so it's not like awful, so you can kind of get the idea of the theme, it's like actually decently themed in terms of what we're going for but it's not like anything amazing and it's still keeping that tacky feel and now just adding some little details just some little fences that um, just to, on the edges where people could jump over just to add that little bit more height to give people not to just jump over the concrete block uh, not that it would stop you and this is the little final bit of the time lapse we are just making these little trees and uh, bushes around the final bit of the queue that takes you up into the the um, higher bit of the queue and um, just then some rocks and shrubbery and then I'll add a fence eventually that surrounds the trees just to block off the what's going to be behind there I'm not sure I've just set it up for DJB coasters to so he can build his maintenance uh, not maintenance backstage area and um, yeah just gonna do that and then wrap up today's video um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this area. Um, I'm quite happy with how it's going so far. And um, and uh, yeah, I hope you all guys are actually excited for um, Port Ventura as well. Um, because that's uh, going to be starting on Theme Park Photos first, I think. And I think that actually just did happen. Um, uh, yesterday um, obviously the video came out for me but they also released some videos about it and I think one of them was an episode of uh, Port Ventura so go check that out and yeah we're coming to the end of the video now just final touches this la last fence just so you can't see into the ugly maintenance area but adding to that um, tacky theme with the uh, with the nice obvious fence. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video.